Hello everyone, this is Jackie Williams and thanks so much for joining me. In this video, let's take a look at the Abstract Beauty Suite and a few projects that you can make with this collection. So this is the Hello Beautiful bundle and you can see that it's a stamp set with some generic type of shapes and also the die set, which also are some generic types of shapes. You see that we've got some ovals, a set of circles, a set of hexagons, and a couple of small triangles and diamonds. So while this set works uh, well in and of itself, it also, because the images are so generic, actually marries up quite well with things that you already have to give you even more possibilities. And then these are the papers. And of note, I want you to notice that they actually come in a four by six size, which is new and different and you get 48 sheets, four of each print, and they are double-sided, and you will notice that they have do have a gold foil on one side, so they are considered a specialty paper. And you can also see that there's quite a large range of colors here, and of course you don't have to use every single color in every project, uh, but it just does give you quite a large variety. Also in this suite is a set of pre-printed cards and envelopes. Now I have used some, so you do get more than what I'm showing here. So you have some that are solid printed and then some that just have a little like watercolor wash of color. But one thing I really love is that it does have envelopes that come with it and you've got a lining that goes all the way through, which just always adds something a little bit extra to your projects. So these are really great when you have little spare bits of ephemera or extra die cuts and you can just position them on here, maybe add a little sentiment and you're good to go and you've got a card finished. Great for when you're in a hurry. We've also got the hexagon shapes, which I've grown to really appreciate and enjoy these. They, they really work nicely when you're using the hexagon dies on your project. Also, they're not sparkly, so great for using um, with something maybe where sparkles aren't suitable. And uh, it just is nice to have something that's maybe not just, just round. It just gives you a few more options. And then last, I just wanna show you the ephemera pack. And again, I apologize because I have been using this and this is the only pack that I have, but you can see that you've got vellum with gold um, and then just some different little pieces that are already ready to go and they're even already um, cut out. You just need to pop them out with the gold foiling. I particularly really like this heart. So I want to jump right in and just show you some samples and I want to start with just some samples using those pre-printed cards. We'll just start out nice and easy. So this is one where I just actually grabbed some bits uh, from the ephemera pack and then just added some of the hexagons and stamped some words. So really quick and easy, just but just a nice one. And then this is another one where I have used the sailboat punch and just punched out of the DSP and used against some more of the ephemera and the little hexagon shapes and just literally just stuck them on to the already pre-printed background. So that just makes a really nice and easy project especially if you maybe cut some pieces that you aren't ultimately gonna use and you can just go ahead and quickly put them on a card and you're ready to go. And then this one, I particularly like using that blue and green pre-printed background and then just used completely black die cuts and some of the matte black dots with the uh, Tropical Paradise dies, I believe, just for a really um, sophisticated card. I really like that one too. And then this one I did show in another video, but it was literally just a car that I had colored up that I wasn't ended up using on the project. And then just added some little uh, pooping hearts is what one of my friends told me, but that's what it is. And it just is a nice contrast with that blue background having the purple. And this card I actually matted with a piece of fresh freesia. So you can do that too if you wanna add just that one little extra bit of color. I also wanted to show you actually one more thing here with this sailboat one. It actually worked so well I didn't see it and forgot. I, when stamping the words, I got, you know how sometimes you get a little bit of ink somewhere and I actually had these big black marks here. And I just took my white chalk marker and used that over the top of the marks. Um, I did about three layers and I mean, you can still kind of see them there. 
but it actually worked really well to cover up those stray ink marks. So hopefully that helps you one of these days. Now let's move on to projects using the hexagons. And I have to admit, these are my favorite. So you see that you have four nested sizes plus these two, which also nest. So these are the smaller ones. And it's really nice that they cut two at a time just for speed during your creation. So my first project is actually one that I blogged earlier today. So you may have seen it. And what I did here was I did take this die where there's two hexagons and I just die cut that a few times like this to create this honeycomb look, okay? Then I put that up on dimensionals on a piece of black. It's actually flat right here, but I'm just giving you the concept. And then I used that same die and cut some of the same, obviously the same size hexagons out of some various colors. You don't have to use these obviously, but I use gold foil and I actually rubbed my black stays on ink pad over the top after I had embossed it with the Hive 3D embossing folder. Now this is not part of the Abstract Beauty Suite. However, it works so well when you're using the hexagons. I would suggest that if you don't have this already, if you're buying that die set, I would consider adding that folder on too. It just opens up your possibilities. So again, I embossed this and then rubbed over the top with my stays on black pad. And you must use stays on because the foil is not absorbent. So it will um, not really dry very quickly or ever if you use a water-based ink pad. And then I just went through and dropped these in through into the slots and just kind of randomly, that's not very random. Sometimes the harder you try to be random, the less random you are, but you get the idea. Next, I wanna show you one way to create a bumblebee. And we are actually going to use the ladybug punch. So it's really great when you can get multiple uses out of your punches. Now I'm using the striped gold and white paper from the Abstract Beauty pack. And I'm just going to pick up some black ink and rub that on the paper. Now you do need to use memento black for this because you don't want to get black on the gold foil. So if you use stays on, the stays on would actually color up the foil bit too. But because memento is water-based, it will the foil will actually resist the ink and so you will keep the gold foil, preserve that, and just get black in the in-between bits. And then you will just use the body of your ladybug. And actually I learned, you need to get your stripes reasonably straight. You don't wanna cut them so that you've got diagonal stripes on your bee. And then I have cut the little head out of black and that will just sit over the top. Obviously you'll wanna adhere that. And then I have cut the wings twice out of vellum and you will just adhere those together. And I have found that our seal works quite well with the vellum. Now I'm offsetting them so that the bottom one is a little bit longer than the top one. And then we'll go ahead and put that onto the B body like this. So this is my finished card and you can see that I've got the white, this white layer up on dimensionals. So there's a little bit of depth here with the hive just to give it a little more interest. Use those cute little hexagon embellishments and you can see my finished bee here. And I have used Wink of Stella on those wings. You can see that I believe. So it gives you that extra little detail with the bee and otherwise left the card quite clean and simple. Now for my next sample, we're going to take advantage of the fact that these hexagon dies or the circle dies, whichever you wanna use, actually are nesting. So what we'll do is lay them on a piece of cardstock, one inside of the other, and you can use washi tape or magnets to hold them down. And then you'll run that through your die cutter 
and you'll end up with something that looks like this. So you will have an inside piece and then this beautiful frame to use on your project. And this is my sample using those frames. And you can see that I've actually brought in the stitched blooms dies, which are some of my favorites because I'm, I'm quite partial to stitching and the embroidery look and um, have the little stitch leaves here as well. So I've just positioned the stems and the flowers so that they land inside of those little hexagon frames just so, for a little fun geometric look. Now, in creating both of those cards I just showed you, I ended up with a whole lot of white hexagons. So I wanted to do something with those. So one thing you can do is use your Stampin' Blends. And this is similar to a project that I shared uh, last week using the Natural Tone Stampin' Blends. But here I've just grabbed kind of all my greens and sort of green blues. So I have Evergreen, Soft Succulent, Just Jade, Pool Party, and Bermuda Bay. So what I'm gonna do here is, I think I'll grab my dark so soft succulent. And I'm just going to take the side of my brush tip so as not to damage the, you know, the pointed tip. And then maybe my light just jade. And I'm gonna go over that dark soft succulent and then just take it a little bit further go over it and over it and you can see how it's just saturating that shape and then I might take my dark pool party and when you can still see a harsh line just keep blending keep blending there we go until you are happy with your look now you can keep adding more of the dark color more of the light color and you can keep blending and blending until you are happy with how that turned out. So I just did a selection of these, and this is my finished project for a real geometric look, but I did want to just use those leftover pieces up, and then I just gold embossed a hello, added those little geometric embellishments, and you can see I've left a couple of them, the Bermuda Bay, they come in, and then used my blends to darken up a few of them, so you can actually color those embellishments to match a project as long as you use the Stampin' Blends to do so. I quite like this. It almost has like a earthy look to it. And then here's just a few other samples using the hexagons as the main focal point. This is actually the project that is included in the Abstract Beauty tutorial bundle. There are 12 tutorials and there are 12 of us who submitted a project and this happens to be my submission. And I'll give you a few tips in there about how to combine your prints so that it looks pleasing to the eye, as well as just show you how to make this simple but cute window card. It's a really great one for using those hexagons because they nest together so nicely. And then these two samples were actually shared by my friend Sally Williams at a recent team retreat that I hosted. And I believe she said that these were designed by um, Gail Ellis, who's a demonstrator in Australia. But uh, they're just beautiful and they combine the hand penned papers, as you can see, with those beautiful hexagon shapes, making use of the frames and the different sizes of the hexagon. So they can be quite beautiful as well as quite geometric looking. Next, I just wanna showcase the circles. Now, I just wanted to point out that this largest circle and these two more rectangular and oval shapes, they actually have a little bit of an embossing detail around the edge, which is something quite nice. So this is my first sample using that circle. I wanted to showcase um, that circle that had the little frame on it. I just thought it was so cute. And here I'm using the All for Baby bundle. I just think these little onesies are just so adorable. But also I just wanted to showcase the papers, the pack of papers a little bit more. And then I did step it up a little bit and made another one. And this time, instead of just using a straight strip of the cardstock, I actually used up some of the scraps, cut them into the small hexagons and pieced them together to create like a little quilt along the side, which is so cute, particularly if you're giving this along with a quilt or if you're giving it to a quilter or you are a quilter. I also wanted to just showcase these little 
stamps here. It wasn't obvious to me at first what they were for, but they are actually, well, they can be anything you want them to be, to be honest, but they actually fit perfectly in between those hexagons to create a little stitched image. So you could create a card that looks like a giant quilt front, which would be so cute. Also wanted to just show you these samples again. I showcased these in another video too. I used those little X, X's to create a little road for our driving by van. And then wanted to show you this one because I did it backwards on the video, which was so annoying. Again, just used it as a little road for my car. Um, so just wanted to also show you that one. Finished and corrected. So there you have it. I hope that gives you lots of inspiration for using your Abstract Beauty Suite or your Hello Beautiful bundle. Please leave me a comment. Ask me a question if I wasn't clear about anything. Share this video and of course, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. This is Jackie Williams. Bye-bye.